Hello viewers and welcome to the lesson, sequence series, GP and AP, that is geometric progression and arithmetic progression. So let me read through this question and then you solve it. The first, seventh and the twenty-fifth terms of an arithmetic progression are the first three consecutive terms of a geometric progression. The twentieth term of the arithmetic progression is twenty-two. Find a part one, the first term and the common difference of the arithmetic progression for max. And then we have the second one, the sum of the first 40 terms of the arithmetic progression. Then B part one, the tenth term of the geometric progression. B two, the sum of the first 10 terms of the geometric progression. So those are the questions. Let us go to the first part. Now we're given that the first, right, the first, the seventh, and the twenty-fifth terms of an arithmetic progression are the first three consecutive terms of the geometric progression. So at that point, there's something that we need to note. We need to write the first term of arithmetic progression. The first term of arithmetic progression is written as a then the seventh term is written as a plus 6d. Remember, for an arithmetic progression, it has a common difference, and that is what gives the difference between a GP and an AP. So for a geometric progression, it has a common ratio. And the nth term of an arithmetic progression is given by a plus n minus 1 d where a is the first term n is the position of the term so if it is a first term n will be 1 if it is a second term n will be 2 and then d is a common difference so when you want to get the seventh term just uh, come here where you have n and substitute n with 7. So that is where you get 7 minus 1, you get 6d. Then the 25th term will be a plus 24d. Now this is the first, 7th, and 25th term uh, of the AP. Now we're given that these forms the first three consecutive terms of a GP. So the three of them, the way they are, they form three consecutive. Consecutive means they follow each other over GP. And what do you know over GP? A GP has a common ratio. So if this one forms a GP, the consecutive term, the first consecutive terms of a geometric progression, then this term should have a common ratio. How do we get the common ratio? We take um, the common ratio will be given by A plus 6D divided by A. That is how we get the common ratio. And if it is a um, GP, it should have a common ratio. So when I take uh, the other term, that is uh, A plus 24D divided by A plus 6D, these two should give a common ratio. So A plus 6D divided by A is a common ratio. It should be the same with A plus 24D divided by A plus 6D. Now, having this now, we can work out these and try to multiply out by doing what we call a uh, cross multiplication is like this so i will cross multiply and uh, try to simplify so this will be a plus 6d multiply by a plus 6d is equals to a this is uh, a plus 24d so i'm cross multiplying i don't know whether this space will be enough so to simplify this one uh when you multiply a plus 6d multiply by a plus 6d let me try to save this space here uh, you know how you know how to expand this so when you expand this one because of space uh there's something that you need to get here this one you give uh, a squared a squared plus this will be 12 ad plus 36 d squared that is what you get when you expand a plus 6d 
a plus multiplied by a plus 6d a squared plus 12ad plus 36d squared then this one should be equal to this is a squared plus 24ad so that is what you get now from there we can try to simplify these you can see we have a squared there and a squared there so that one when you bring them to one side that one gets subtracted and a squared will be subtracted and you have it the end that point so that one is gone so now you have uh, you can take this one to the other side so that you have 24 ad minus 12 ad and then um, minus 36 d squared is equals to zero you're just trying to take everything from the left hand side to the right hand side and this one will give um work out this 24 ad minus 12 ad we get 12 ad minus 36 d squared is equals to zero so what is common here uh you can see that um 12 12 d is common so you have uh, we have a so when you factor out you have a subtract um this would be 3d is equals to zero so from this point uh you get 12d is equals to zero and the one that will be very important that will help us to work out is this part here when you're multiplying two numbers and the solution is zero that is a 12d multiplied by a minus 3d it is either 12d is equals to zero or a minus 3d is equals to zero and if this is the case, you get uh, A is equals to 3D. Now at that point, now we should be in good position to proceed with the next statement. Something else that you're given here, the 20th term of the arithmetic progression is 22. 20th term is written as uh, A plus 19D. And that one you're given to be 22. So the 20th term, a plus 19d, is equal to 22. So having that, you now we should be in a position to work it out. So a plus... So a plus 19d is equal to 22. And having these and these, we should be able to work out. So this multiplication equation. So let me just uh, use substitution. A is 3D. So substituting this one. This one A is 3D plus 19D is equals to 22. So this will give um, 3 plus 19. You get 22D is equals to 22. So D is equals to 1. And um, since you have A is 3D, so A will be D is 1. So A will be 3. So we found the first term and the common difference of the arithmetic progression. Now the second part, the sum of the first 40 terms of the arithmetic progression, sum of the first 40 terms. So to solve this question, you need to know how to get the sum of a number of terms of any arithmetic progression, which is given by uh, n over 2, then 2a plus n minus 1, by the common difference so this is how we get the sum of any number of terms that are given of any any arithmetic progression so substituting 40 terms so n will be 40 we already have a a is a 3 so this will be 2 times 3 which will give 6 then n again is 40 so this is a 40 minus 1 you get 39 d like that so this will give uh, 20 multiplied by 6 plus then uh, 39 times d d is 1 so this will be 39 uh, working out this using a calculator uh, you get this would be 900 so the sum of the first 40 terms of arithmetic progression will be 900 now the 10th term of the geometric progression. So to write the 10th term, how do you write um, 
the end term of any of a geometric progression the nth term of a geometric progression is given by a r is my power n minus 1 a r raised to power n minus 1 where a is the first term r is the common ratio n is the position of the term so in this case it's the 10th term n will be 9 now the 10th term the n will be 10 sorry so if it is the 10th term the gp n will be 10 so substituting here you have a we already have um, a a is uh, the first term we got it as of this gp is 3 remember that a is 3 and so if you substitute a is equals to substitute here 3 times uh now the common ratio we need to get the common ratio we don't have the common ratio and to get the common ratio we just need to use a look at this eh? one of these a plus 6d divided by a or a plus 24d divided by a plus 6d so i'll just pick this a plus 6d a plus 6d divided by or divided by a divided by a and this will give a is 3 then d is 1 and then like that so this will give a 9 divided by 3 so the common ratio is let me do it again this is 3 plus um, yes it is okay it is okay r is 3 so now substituting here a is 3 then uh, r common ratio is 3 then you have to raise this one to the power of um so raise this one to n is 10 minus 1 so this one will give 3 multiply by 3 raised to the power 9 and that is uh, what you get after you work it out this calculator you get um this will give uh, 59,049 59,059. So by just uh, having A is 3, then common ratio, you obtain common ratio here, is 3. Then N, if it is the 10th term, the 10th term, N will be 10. Just use this, having the knowledge of the nth term. Now, then the other one is the sum of the first 10 terms of the GP. How do we get the sum of a number of terms of any number of terms of a gp geometric progression there are two formulas one is when r is greater than one and the other one is when r is less than one now in this case r is um three so r is greater than one which formula is that uh the formula this formula is in the four figure mathematical table which you're required to use when you're doing the exams we don't need to worry about this so it's given by s n is equals to um this is a r is minus n minus one and r minus one just confirm this so this is the formula when r is greater than one when it is less than one you know which the formula to use you don't need it at this time so now substituting this one a is uh, three then ratio common ratio is three as well then since it's the 10 terms the first 10 terms n will be 10 so 10 minus 1 then um, r minus 1 will be 3 minus 1 uh, working out this uh, you just need to use a calculator 3 uh, multiply by the raised power 10 minus 1 then 3 minus 1 this will give 88,000 88,572 as the solution. And that is uh, simply how you're supposed to solve a question on sequence and series involving a GP and AP. Thank you.